I'm Matthew from the Science of Psychotherapy and here's John Arden talking about epigenetics and attachment. The whole field of epigenetics, which, which we don't want to throw out as some big panacea. Uh, it's becoming kind of a fad like neuroscience had been. All you got to do is say epigenetics and oh, that's cool. Well, we really want to know whether or not we're really talking about epigenetics in its uh, rigorous form instead of just you could just have a nice fancy thought and turn on or off a gene that's it's not that simple uh, so uh, there are a number of researchers taking a look at attachment for example uh, some of them include Michael Meany at McGill University uh, the kind of the Harvard of Canada where I'll be next week not at McGill but in Toronto and so what they were taking a look at initially, and now we're talking about the late 1990s, was initially with rats, good rat uh, mothers that would lick their pups a lot, yeah. produce rats that had a better thermostat for stress later on. Joan Bowlby would be honored to hear that because he hypothesized that good attachment, the good internal working model, produce the better thermostat later on in life. Now let me get into the neuroscience and the epigenetics about what that was about. It turns out that if you receive good mothering or parenting, fathering, early in life, through an epigenetic process, you now, you could say, turn on the cortisol receptor gene that then produces these cortisol receptors on your hippocampal area that act like a thermostat. Wow, that's pretty cool. What does that mean? Then when the cortisol level goes up, now these receptors can detect the elevation like a thermostat on the wall that would detect heat elevation. Oh, we don't need the heater anymore. We reached the temperature we want. So the HPA axis would then turn off. You get the idea? Now, if you are neglected or abused as a child, these cortisol receptors don't get turned on. You don't have a very good thermostat function. So if I'm driving to work every day and I'm on a crowded, you know, highway, uh, you know, uh, in Sydney, San Francisco, wherever, and I get to work after 45 minutes, I'm all stressed out by the time I get to work because I can't contain the stress level. Right. Mm -hmm. So what we're talking about is the attachment researchers were right all along, but it was theory. Now we know that there's not only a neuroscience explanation for it, but there's also an epigenetic description of it and a psychoneurological factor, too, because not only are you now not producing these cortisol receptors, but you also can't turn off the immune system when you don't need it. And that's a whole nother subject because chronic other, yeah. inflammation turns out to be a major factor as well. Well, if you want to know more about the science of psychotherapy, come across to our website, thescienceofpsychotherapy.com and our podcast of the same name and learn more about the science of you.